So what would you say to God? Should you have the chance to speak with him? Hmm, nah, too easy. God used to speak to us through burning bushes and hazy visions, but not anymore. They have upgraded their equipment and made contact through shortwave radio. Hmm, could be funny, but I don't know. Maybe a biblical quote, but which one? Maybe this God is not even the father of Jesus to begin with. Maybe. Or maybe I've just flown for five hours and drove for three more into the Gal Gal Galician countryside to make sure just to meet with a senile man who's spent too much time listening to the static. Yeah, that's probably going to be it. Hello, hi, this is your friendly neighborhood gamers. Welcome to a game called Interview with the Whisperer. Oh. Hi. I think someone's knocking. Ah. Uh, uh, Doña Ramidos, uh, Manuel, this is the journalist who came to see you about your machine. Pay attention and be kind to them. I'm not hungry, Ramidos. Ah, excuse him. As you can see, Don Manuel, Manuel has trouble focusing and following conversations, but if you're persistent enough, you see this man is full of wisdom. That's right, Don Ramirez. Thank you so much for your hospitality. I'll handle it from here. Very well, I'll leave you both to it. I'll be, try I'll be tending to the cows if you need me for anything. Thank you so much. You better behave, you hear me, Manuel? Why don't you this person behave instead? <laughs> Last one who came by was a joke. I'm a journalist. Good grief. It's alright, Donya. I'll be tactful. I'll be back at noon. Thank you. Give me a minute to review my notes and we'll start my, set up my recorder. We'll begin. I've never gone hunting in my life, even if, even if my father was a fine hunter, or so they say. Haha, <laughs> that's nice. Okay, Donya Ramirez wasn't an exaggerate. This may be the trickiest interview I've ever attempted. Let's try to get much, as much interesting information as we can. Call it a day when I find enough to compose an article. Learn as much as you can through the special radio, how it works and how you made it, etc. Profile ma manual, uh, background career, assess his sanity. Dig as much as you can about his supposed God entity. Manual's contact with. Try, gain t try to gain access to the machine. After how much it took to get here, I'm not leaving empty-handed. Let's question Manual. Robin says, Uh, how... Did you build this machine? Machine? Question mark. How'd you build this machine? Hmm, that's a tricky question. I'm a radio aficionado myself, and I was trying to come up with ways to encrypt my communications so the government would pick up, wouldn't pick up on my conversations. I, as I started working on this polymorphic la multi-layered transmission system that I found found someone who's already worked on the same system similar to mine. That's weird English. So I decided to try to match this weird sinusoidal gibberish on an airwaves. It happened to be God. I wasn't even looking for them. I could write this off as a miracle, if you say. Maybe it was God who inspired me to work on this to begin with. I discovered God is not, an op it's not as omnipotent as many cultures paint them. They still have their ways. Manual f God and ever was accidentally uh, to be... How did you know that this was God? How did you know? I've never been a religious man, but somehow we could call this divine inspiration. I mean, there's still a lot of magic we don't understand behind human purpose. What drives us to do the things we do? Is there a secret? An explanation to this? What was this God like? Now that I think about it, I think I can nail down the time when this hunger for technology started. From 1950 to 1955, there was this woman, Dolores, who came to live in town. I was around my 20s. I had a pre pre predisposition to mess with electronics already by that time. But meeting her and her weird prototypes would spark this lifelong quest for me. I still miss Dolores very much. That is not the right answer. I didn't ask that at all. But, uh, uh, Dolores is in the 50s. Okay, so... This is, oh, it's inverse. That's interesting. Can you show me around, around the machine? She, she, she. Absolutely. Pay attention. God, are you there? I have a friend with me that wants to hear from you. Do you have any advice for them? God said... I'm surprised no other intelligent life forms made contact with you yet. On other civilizations, I would not have been blown away by what you've developed on this planet. It's a matter of time, though. Do you have...
have conversations with uh, God on a daily, uh, da da daily English. I mean, okay, I mean, okay, so I didn't spell daily right, but that's totally fine. They they got it. I've been talking with God for about three years now. At first, communications were short and lost, you know, just about a couple of minutes. If we're talking proper, the whole evening long conversation, I'd say half a year. This is three years ago, but it's only conversations. Uh, okay. How did you get the technology to make? That's not how you spell make. Make this machine. Distilling liquors has kept me sane for a long time. It's an art so that is not what I asked, but it's all right. It's an art so different from messing with appliances. There's less science to it, more alchemy, more magic. You master liquid crafting through sheer experimentation. It's so fun, even when it goes wrong. I'm not a heavy drinker, though. I didn't ask if you were a heavy drinker, Manuel. All right? I didn't ask for any of that. There's an added pleasure to making liquors. I didn't ask. I asked. What did you take? Okay. <laughs> That's totally fine. Bottle of something so nice can always put a smile in the townsfolk. Did the government ever find about this machine? My parents were really worried about me, though. They thought I developed some kind of obsession. It took them a long to find understand what this uh, took them a long time to understand this is what makes my life worth living. But since I was able to make enough money visiting neighbors and fixing the radios and TVs in the end, they stopped caring. The only regret is to have died without de de descendancy, I guess. What can I say? I didn't kill them as well to continue someone's bloodline. Interesting. Did you ever ask for help? I've never been a man of faith, agnostic of anything, so making contact with God at first blew out my mind. But a few weeks into you, and I feel weird saying this, I expected more from God. They don't feel as omnipotent as every culture describes them. I don't know, if anything, I feel compassion for them. I need to grab information out of this man. How are you? Something I should ask a long time ago. Well, given my advanced age, my body is a constant source of pain. My mind has never been clearer. I may be a bit out of touch with reality, lose focus easily, and have trouble following conversations, but mentally speaking, I'm in a permanent state of bliss. I don't know if that's a consequence of finding God or what, but I'm fine all the time. I feel fine. Nor is the science of adventure. He claims that his mind has never been sharper, though. Okay. If you're fine, then I guess you're fine. Did you ever want to find out where where God lived. The thing that shocked me the most of God's true nature is his role they played in the creation of humankind. He classes against every myth about the creation of our world. It's very true. Earth, this planet, already existed before God visited it. They only terraformed it. It's no small feat, don't get me wrong. It's just knowing this all wasn't some grand design. God just kickstarted life as we know it, but it wouldn't be po it wouldn't it couldn't possibly predict what's become of it. Uh, should I dig deeper into this? How did God God terraform Earth? That must be the most groundbreaking discovery I got out of our conversations. God didn't create the universe, but he sure did create life on Earth. God has terraforming powers, or should we say capabilities? They pick up barren rock in the middle of the universe and generate an ecosystem in it by stimulating electrochemically. So, uh, electrochemically. They told me the process takes about a million years. They oversee the early stages of the development of species, and when satisfied, God moves on and leaves nature to run its course. You know, this is where the land they started and finished the process? Ah. Galatia is a bit of a land which God prefers to breathe life into when Earth was just a supercontinent. In fact, God didn't speak the name of that supercontinent in front of the machine. Then it might trigger some unpredictable developments. Uh. Can you try to say the name? 
You dig do, do you dig poetry? I'm not a great writer myself, but Dolores like po poetry a lot. That's not what I asked for. But again, apparently he has dementia, so it, it, I guess it just happens. So as a way to feel closer to her, I tried my hand at writing some. It's one I wrote about two decades ago. Fleeting feeling of numbness. Bare wires against an old man's skin. Fleeting sensation of love. Rust, breath of Libyan Nile. Manual Dick's poetry. Yeah. Why did. God, uh, that's not. God for forbid, forbid you to say the name. Do you have any recurrent dreams? No. Myself, I've had some weird ones. But more than recent. The more of a recurrent dream, I would say, is more of a recurring setting. And I keep visiting it in my dreams, a place where it feels out of this world. But I guess you didn't come here to hear me rambling about my night trips. Please, go on. What about this rec recurrent dreams? Where do you go in these dreams? I'm somehow to know there's no afterlife. That's... I need to find... Okay... How is it called? Pangea. Our control unit seven dot two entering maintenance mode. Error. Cannot access maintenance logs. Warning: seven eight four four dash Q bio bread processor deteriorated. Editing access journalist trust gauge equals true. Print. Journalist dot trust level. Current trust level 3.2 per 32%. Ask more personal questions to increase. Please contact God entity and request retrieval. Return it to humans. Handler state machine. You're not a human. I wish. If I were an android, I wouldn't have these back pains. You are an android. I would be surely make my life easier. You are... You are an android. Not a robot, my friend. I wish. How was your ch I ch child? What? Family, huh? The only family I have left is Re Remedius. My only son is something I, I'm sure my parents regretted at some point. My father was pretty strict, nor a really smart person. Simple and obs obstinate. She only cared, cared about living and hunting, make sure I lived by the proper values. Whatever that means. My mother was cold and distant, never really knew how to express love, not even to meet nor my father. But I knew she cared that we were all healthy and fine in our own way. I don't really miss them, if you ask me. Uh, pretty picture. Do you ever visit their graves? I guess a lot of religious people would call my invention her 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 that's not what I asked. But sure. What if I what if I put Pangea again? Pangea. Earth yep. Uh-huh. Forty-six percent. Okay. That's forty-six percent. We should keep going. Do you do anything else besides this in your spare time. Besides messing with appliances, I dabble in distilling liquors that are pretty popular in my in town. My bottles recently made a batch of coffee liquor that I gotta admit turned out too well. Uh can I have a taste of the liquors? Oh, Q. Wait, Q U R S. Sure. Here, have glass. Glug, glug. Ah. It t t tastes great. Thank you. Yeah, you always gotta, gotta say it tastes great. <laughs> I have another class. 
Oh, huh, you liked it. <laughs> Told you it was good. Here, have another glass. Am I gonna get drunk? Alright, okay, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna drink anymore. Um, wait. Pen... Chia. Right, where are we at now? Maintenance mode, current stress level 100%. Returning to human state machine. Ah. Okay. That's called... Should I dig deeper into this? Are you... Sure you're... Not... An android... Sent... From... Cyber life. Sometimes I wonder why me. How many tech geniuses out there? What is your... IQ... Level? Is it... Is that how you supposed to put it? Level? What's your IQ level? I think it's liberating to really know it doesn't, life doesn't have a meaning. I mean, we know that he's a machine. Can you say the name of the... Supercontinent? What? Do I look like Wikipedia to you? Look it up yourself. Uh, a lot. I know! I know what it is. I've said it like two times already in this game. Do you... Wait. Did you ever have a wife? Dolores is the only person I ever loved in my life. Not that we ever had a romance together or anything. I just enjoyed the feeling of loving her in my own way. Never desired her physically, but she was the most beautiful human being my eyes ever, ever laid upon. Also been the only person I've been able to genuinely communicate with. She shared my hunger for messing with technology and super interested in my silly experiments. I've married her if you've been keeping her by my side. Never mustered the courage offering her a marriage without sex, though. Ah, Dolores. Dolores meant so much for Manuel. Okay, huh. We can't really do much about that, trading, getting access to machine. Can I try out the machine? Alright, you look like these in person, they part the machine. Yeah, you trust me, we we trust. Salutations, human entity! Man, you finally let someone else communicate with us. Before we start a conversation, we need to know, what do you feel about God? I love God. That is just extremely healthy for human entities to profess feelings of love or gratitude. Your psyche will benefit from these thoughts. And speaking about existing in this time and age as a human entity, what do you enjoy the most about the human experience? Living. Interesting, we wish we could be contained into human entities' brain process to be able to experience such things in a way you are privileged. As made you improve your experience as human going, as a human entity, we're going to offer you a gift in just one word, only one word. What do you like this to remove? From reality, just name it. Just word, we should remove it from your world. Remove. Remove Earth. Interesting choice. And with that, you would, you would be happy. Yes. Remove rain access to Earth comms unit eighteen four one entering maintenance mode. Blocking perception of reality. Earth. Pyramid is deleted from database. Resetting the counter configuring world narrative coherence factor. Returning to human standard state machine. Wait. Presents advanced state of dementia. The machine claims it's made a very elaborate Christmas tree. We're not following the story of the void, bringing our comfortable attention to cinema. Buy some. Uh, oh, don't worry about it, Mr. Fatiri. I have more than enough for my article. Let's see if my editor is spot on the next issue for your story. Please take care. You're not even staying for lunch? Sorry, I gotta run if I wanna make the time to the airport. Okay.
That blew my mind. I didn't know that they would U-turn on me like that. That's insane. That's crazy. I didn't know I was an android. Holy crap. Wait, that means are we, are all of us androids? In the game, that is. But I don't know. Thank you for playing Deconstruct Team. Man. So that was Interview with the Whisper. That was a great game. I really love that. All right, so thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I will see you later. Bye-bye.